In this procedure, you will learn how to use a Snellen alphabetical chart to determine a patient's visual acuity at 20 feet. Prepare the area. Make sure the room is well lit and that a distance marker is 20 feet from the chart. Hi. Hello. How are you this morning, Jubilee? I'm good. Good. Can I get your full name and date of birth? Jubilee Leanhouts. To make sure you have the correct patient, identify the patient by name and date of birth. I'm just going to sanitize my hands quick. Sanitize your hands. Explain the procedure. All right, we're going to be doing a vision test today, and I'm going to have you use this occluder to cover one eye. So you cover one eye at a time. You can go ahead and hold that and give it a try. There you go. That's what we need you to do. And while you're covering that eye, I'm going to have you looking at a chart and reading the different letters that are on the chart. And they're in a number of different lines. We're just going to have you work your way down. Uh, and then when you're done with one eye, we're going to move to the other. Instruct the patient not to squint during the test because this temporarily improves vision. Uh, and it's important that you um, don't squint while you're doing the test because that can affect your vision and we want to make sure we're getting a true picture of it. If the patient wears corrective lenses, they should be worn during the test. Be sure the patient does not get an opportunity to study the chart before the test is given or the results could be affected. Position the patient in a standing or sitting position at the 20-foot marker. Check that the Snellen chart is positioned at the patient's eye level. If the occluder is not disposable, disinfect it before the procedure starts. All right, Jubilee, we're going to check your vision now, and I'm going to have you use this occluder to cover one eye at a time while we check your vision. And so I'm going to have you start by covering your left eye. Traditionally, the right eye is tested first. So instruct the patient to cover the left eye with the occluder and to keep both eyes open throughout the test to prevent squinting. Stand beside the chart and point to each row, having the patient read it aloud, starting with the 2070 row. C. Good. And how about here? L-P-E-D. Starting with larger letters gives the patient confidence and allows her vision to adjust before moving to the smaller letters. Proceed down the rows of the chart until the smallest row the patient can read with a maximum of two errors is reached. If one or two letters are missed, the outcome is documented with a minus sign and the number of errors. If more than two errors are made, the previous line should be documented. Document any of the patient's reactions, such as squinting, leaning, tearing up, or blinking while reading the chart as they indicate she may be having difficulty with the test. Repeat the procedure with the left eye covering the right eye. And one more. Then repeat the procedure with both eyes uncovered. When you are finished, disinfect the occluder with an alcohol wipe if it is not disposable. Again, sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the patient's record, including the date and time, visual acuity results, and any reactions by the patient. Also, record whether corrective lenses were worn. Procedures must be documented to be considered complete. Thank you.